see we are receiving some text over here this is learning microcontrollers rs485 to pic 16 f double seven tutorial now now the point is this is not ordinary transmission of data if you go to the hardware you will see that we have the pick here this is our pick and it is connected to this uh, ttl2 rs485 module and then this is connected to the uh, usb to rs485 converter and these three wires over here a b and ground they can be like 300 meters long like this module and this module might be 300 meters away still this will work connected by a wire so this is the beauty of rs485 and the coding is very simple now let me show you the code as well now in the code you may see that we only have like four to five commands once first we initialize the uart port because the module is connected to the uart port then we checked if the tx buffer is empty if it's empty then we wrote our commands and that's it now this is the beauty of using this module called rs485 true ttl auto flow control module so guys guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how we can interface a pic 16 f a double seven a microcontroller with an rs485 protocol so this in this tutorial i will show you how we can use the benefits of one of the world's most leading noise immune and distortion proof protocol cause called rs485 rs485 has a range of up to 300 meters this protocol is is one of the best in the world and many sensors and modules use it so what we do is that if you want to send a data directly over the UART port then the range is like 10 to 12 meters so if you want to send the data over a very long range and sensor is far away or you are sending it to another computer or a, another microcontroller then you may use RS485 because it has a range of 300 meters then in this tutorial I will show you how to use this with the PIC 16 fa 7 a and then uh, to, uh, for the tutorial purpose, I will be sending the data to the PC from the PIC16 FA77A over RS485. So let's get started. So guys, there are two modules in the market, these two, available for the TTL2 RS485. And there might be other modules as well. Even you may use this IC directly as well. This is a MAX485 IC, easily available in the market. Now guys, th this bottom module, what is the difference is that you may see that on the right you have four pins d i d e r e and r o now the problem is d e and r e are the pins that you set you use to set the mode like either you are transmitting or either you are receiving then you have to set these pins high or low accordingly but in this module on the top this is an improved version of this this is also very cheap this is also very cheap they both are under one dollar so they are not expensive these two pins you can see are no longer there they don't have the de and re pin here so what you have is the rx and tx so you will directly connect it to the uart port you don't have to set the mode here you will only be doing your uart programming like you ordinarily do you just write your uart command like uart send this uart send that and that's all you don't have to set the mode here so this one have this ic called auto flow mode control ic so this will be used to control the flow automatically and this is the same max 485 ic so this is the difference since this module is also cheap and easily available so we will be using this one with the auto flow control so let's me do the labeling for you as you can see it is already labeled but i will label it again so at the right if you hold it like this the top end is the ground then you have rx tx and 5 volt this also operates at 3.3 volt as well so you may call it 5 volt oblique 3.3 volt both are good and on the left side we have this it's chinese so uh, written in chinese so this is the ground then you have b negative and a positive like this now guys these three wires are the wires which you will make using a twisted pair you may use a twisted pair wire and they may extend up to 300 meters so whatever is connected at this side it can communicate up to 300 meters so that's a great thing now guys let's do the whole circuit this over here is our pic 16 f a double seven a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version this over here is the uh, ttl2 rs485 auto flow control module as you can see i will relabel it on the right side the top pin is ground then rx tx and 5 volt or 3.3 volt and on the left side we have the ground b negative and a positive pins now guys let's do the connection with the pick now for the ground pin just connect it to the common ground of your pick for the 5 volt connect it to the 5 volt of your pick so picks 5 volt will also power up this module it works at very negligible current like 50 to 100 milliampere so that's not a lot of current and on the 
next wire now this thing is interesting now see this is tx and rx usually what we do is that the tx goes to the rx of the pick and rx will go to the tx of the pick but in this case since you cannot see any microcontroller on the body on the pcb of this module if there is no microcontroller like there is no programmable chip then the tx will go to the tx and rx will go to the rx now see this is the rx pin it goes to the pin number c7 and pin number c7 is the rx pin of the pic so rx of the auto flow control module will go to the rx pin of the pic 16 f 7 a similarly the tx pin will go to the tx pin of the pic 16 f 7 a now this you have to remember now now there we go the circuit is completed now to send the data to the computer we need to convert it back to the usb format so our computer can read it so we will need some this type of device it's called rs485 to usb device so it's i think zku485 there are various available in the market like this one this is also available in the market this one is also available in the market they all do exactly the same i have this one in my hand so i will use this one so let's do the uh, let me first label it for you if you hold it like this you have a a pin b pin ground ground and then five volt now see you can easily understand how to wire it up the ground will go to the ground like this a will go to the a b will go to the b like this now the connections are completed now you do not need to connect the 5 volt because once you insert it into the computer computer will power up this device now this section over here these three wires are the twisted pair they can be like 300 meter long like this module and this module can be 300 meter apart connected using these wires now this is the beauty of rs485 you can communicate over long distances using this protocol like this now now guys this is our circuit now let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming so guys this is the hardware here we have the pic 16 f 7 a there we have the rs485 this auto flow control usb to rs sorry guys this is our micro c4 pic let me zoom in so you guys can see better so you can see the vision I'm using is 7.6.0. You may use any higher vision as well, if available. I also have a lecture on this, how to download and install this for free from the official website. So please go through it if you don't have the software. Click on File, New, New Project. This window pops up, New Project Wizard. Click on Next, write the name of the project. I write here, any name. I call it RS485 to pick 16 fa 7 a tutorial okay that's good the microcontroller is pic 16 f 7 a you may set the path where you want to create the hex file and other files and the crystal i have is 20 megahertz click on next and finish now this window pops up before you do anything first of all save your work click here to save okay save it like this now guys as you know we are using the rs485 module and it is in using our uart port so we need to initialize the uart port of the pic 16 f 7 a go to right in the micro e libraries expanded the system libraries go down 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 there you have this uart check mark this expand it there you have this command called uart one initialize double click go down this command copy it go back paste it in the one time loop here now the UART port will initialize with a baud rate of 9600. Now this is important. Once you are receiving the data at the receiving end, then you have to set the same baud rate. Remember. So whatever you set here, you must remember it. Now the UART port is initialized. We give some initialization delay. Not necessary, but I always suggest you give it in the one-type loop. 100 millisecond will do fine. So in this circuit, we only have the UART port, only a communication protocol. We are testing here RS485. So that's all we need in the one-type loop. Now let's get to the forever loop right on while one forever loop starts here and hands here now inside that we send something i go to the right here you have this command called uart1 write text or first you write this command uart1 tx excited that check the buffer if the buffer is ideal only then send the data now this is the proper way of sending our data okay it will check the buffer if the buffer is empty then you go back use this command uart1 write text this command uart1 write text this one you just copy it paste it here now this command will check if the buffer tx buffer of the uart port is ideal then it will allow the command to be sent so in this way data cannot be racked back you may use this command directly as well uh, not using this uh, safety command it may work but there might be some errors so 
now write down any text what you want to send i send learning microcontrollers like this the first line we will send this and then i give some space it gives space like this we give spaces empty space and then we send another text or as 485 to pick 16 f a double seven a dot two again okay now again we send another empty space and in that empty space in the center i write end so we know end now now this will be sent and this will be too fast so to slow down the speed i will give some delay here so we do not read receive data at such a fast speed that we might need, not be able to read it. I give a delay of like 500 milliseconds after, okay, 250. After every 250 milliseconds, it will send these commands, this data over the RS485 channel, and then we will receive this on the computer. I build this code, see no error, build again, no error. Okay, now open the Packet 3 programmer tool to burn it into your microcontroller. This is our uh, Picket 3 programmer tool. I also have a lecture on this how to download and install this. If you don't know it, you may go through that to learn how to download, install, and use it. First of all, you have to select your microcontroller. We are using PIC 16 FH77A. FH77A, look for it. This one. Click on it. Go to File, Import Hex file. This is the file we just created. Double click. Now read. The microcontroller if it is working or not okay that's perfectly working fine now erase if there is any code already just erase it okay wait it is a erasing device it will automatically erase as well if you write but my microcontroller has gone old i am been using it for a long time so it sometimes require it so it's done erasing done now you select the file again this one click on write wait for the new file to be written okay we go to the hardware to see once the programming is done see it is writing the new file just wait let it write right now you can see the leds are off it have led on it as well both of these devices they will blink if the data is being sent okay now see the circuit has program now we power it up using the picket see i click on on now the circuit is on now you can see the tx led is blinking also there is that something is being sent now to see this what is being sent we go to our micro c4 pick go to the micro c4 pick here on the tools go to the usart terminal this one go to the com which com you have the device on it will you will know this from the device setting now see the board rate remember we set 9600 so here too you have to set the same board rate and connect Okay, you can see we are getting the same data as shown. See, it sends the same learning microcontrollers RS485 to PIC 16 f 7 tutorial end. And then it keeps on repeating after every 250 milliseconds. See, we are getting exactly the same data. Now, the beauty is that, beauty is that these wires, these three wires that you can see over here, these three, they can be like 300 meters away this can be like this module might be 300 meter away and this might be 300 meter away still this will work so these wires are supposed to be twisted pairs over the long distances so this is how you use this module and this is a very good module you just have to write the uart code to use it and you just receive the data on the computer and you may also send the using the same method to another microcontroller as well and i will also make a video on that how to transfer data between two picks or one pick and one arduino and something like that so guys this is it if you guys have any questions you may ask so i hope you guys learned something from this video so we'll see you in the next lecture so goodbye until then